لقد كان لكم في رسول الله أسوة حسنة لمن كان يرجو الله واليوم الآخر وذكر الله كثيرا. The second point that I want to discuss tonight is related to the specific topic that we're going to talk about, that is Al-Iman. And I just want to mention a couple of points. Yani the author, Al-Imam Sa'adi, rahimahullah, mentions a number of points, which he discusses yani, briefly, each one, in this book, in the third part of this book. The book is divided into three parts. The third part is the fawaid, the benefits, or the thamarat, the fruits of Iman. And each one of these parts is essential and each one is very, very important. But subhanAllah, when you read the third part of the book, the benefits of Iman, I mean, it's tremendous. Anybody whose heart is alive will be affected by it. In fact, I recently heard from a brother, and I, I'll t I don't want to tell the story because we don't have a lot of time, but he said that his life was changed from this book. It changed his life completely. He was never, and he was a grown man, probably 50 or 60 years old. And he was telling me that he was sending an email to all of his family. He's an old man. To his brothers, his sisters, his nephews, his nieces, everybody in his family. Telling them this book is going to be taught and we need to benefit from it. He said it changed my life. Perhaps it will change some of them. The Sheikh mentions a number of points that show the importance of this particular topic. The knowledge of Al-Iman. And from amongst those points, and we're going to discuss them in detail as we go through the book, when we get to that part. But the first point he mentions, min a'adham thimariha, from the most magnificent and the greatest of the fruits of Iman, is al-irtibatu bi wilayatillah al-khasa. That a person will, yani be happy, joyous, yani jubilant, with having been given the wilaya, the special guardianship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yani al-wilaya, it has a meaning that is quite detailed. I, I just say guardianship because for lack of a better word, but some of the scholars, like Al-Imam al-Siyuti and al hafiz ibn Hajj al-Asqalani, Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, they have explained the meaning of this word wilaya, and in summary from what they said, Yani Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah's summary of what he said, is that a wilaya means that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives tawfiq to a person, that they will love what Allah loves, and they will hate what Allah hates, and they will give allegiance to the one who Allah yani, takes care of, and so on, like this. Yani, it is a special state, a gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is only for the people of Iman. And the Shaykh brings some ayats, but yani, for the sake of time, I'm just going to quickly mention a couple of points. The second point he says, وَمِنْ ثَمَرَاتَ الْإِيمَانِ الفوز بِرِضَ اللَّهِ وَدَارُ كَرَامَتِهِ وَدَارِ كَرَامَتِهِ Yani, that from the fruits of Iman is that a person will achieve the success of earning the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the home of honor that Allah has, yani, created for those who believe and do good deeds. And he mentions the ayah from Surah Tawbah, 71 and 72. And I'll just like allude to it at the end of the ayat after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions some of the characteristics of the believers that will achieve this great success. And yani, some of the other rewards that they receive after Allah mentions Jannah and the beautiful lofty uh, mansions in Jannah and the people remaining in forever and the mercy of Allah, He says, وَرِضْوَانٌ مِنَ اللَّهِ أَكْبَرٌ And the pleasure of Allah, that is the greatest. Yani, it's greater than the Jannah and whatever is in it. The pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Prophet وسلم, talked about this in some detail. Yani, we'll come to it in the future, inshallah. The third thing that the Imam mentions, number three, he says, وَمِنْهَا يعني From the fruits and the benefits of Iman, and the Iman al-kamil يَمْنَعُ مِنْ دُخُولَ النَّارِ وَالْإِمَانْ وَلَوْ قَلِيلًا يَمْنَعُ مِنْ خُلُودْ فِيهَا yani That the one who has complete and perfect Iman, it will pre prevent him from entry into the hellfire. He will never enter the fire. And the one who has Iman, even a little bit of Iman, it will prevent him from remaining in the hellfire. And yani even if he entered, he would not remain. 
perfect iman al iman al kamil yani prevents a person from dukhul from entry into the hellfire jazakallah khair and even a little bit of iman that's not perfect will prevent a person from khulud from remaining eternally in the hellfire and the last one i want to mention he said that from the fruits of iman is that all of our actions and all of our speech will only be correct valid complete and perfect in accordance with what we possess of iman in accordance with our iman yani no deed no act, no action or speech will be valid nor will it be complete or perfect except in accordance with the amount of iman that we have and ikhlas so if a person doesn't have iman then no deed nothing that they do or say will be of any benefit